All right, welcome back guys. Let's have a look at this number of visible nodes question. It's a trees question here. So here we go. So it's a short question here. Let's just go through it. So we have a binary tree within nodes and you're viewing the tree from its left side and can see only the leftmost nodes at each level. Return the number of visible nodes. Um, okay, so this I think is a strange way of asking simply for the depth of the tree or the height, right? So if you look at their example here and you're only able to see the leftmost nodes, so you can see eight, three, one, and four, right? So that's the, okay, the number of visible nodes is simply gonna be four. But if you had something down here off of the 13 on either side, right, that would be, you'd be able to see that one from the left side, I think. So I think all this is, is just asking for the height or depth of a tree, which is a common question with trees and it's relatively simple. So there's a recursive way to do it, which uh, I encourage you to try out, but uh, my solution here would be to well, first you can you know you look at the depth of this left tree and the depth of the right tree and you compare them. All right, so you return. Um, so we got the max of visible nodes root dot left of root dot left. So this is a recursive call, and then another recursive call visible nodes root dot right, okay, and then if we do one plus that, right, because we've got the height of the left tree and the right tree, well, in this case, they're the same, right, it's three on the left and three on the right, but you pick whatever the maximum is, and then you add one to consider the, the root here, right, and we do need a base case for our recursive algorithm, which will be we just check if it root is not none, right? So if not root, actually return zero, right? Otherwise we return this. So I think just this basic recursive code here should work. So let's try to run it. And let's see. So they have some test cases down here that they're running. Okay, let me pass the test cases. Now let's see if we wanted to do this non-recursively, how would we do it? Well, the basic idea is you do some kind of depth first search or breadth first search and you keep track of the height. So let me see if I can come up with a non-recursive solution. It's not gonna be this, this short, but let me show you my non-recursive solution. So let's create a variable max depth started at zero and then we can increase it and return that at the end, right? So return max depth. And then we're gonna create the stack to do a depth first search. So it's gonna be something like stack equals, uh, which I just, I use a list for the stack in Python here. And I'm gonna do, gonna have tuples here. So the node and the depth or the height of the tree at that node, right? So, okay, and then we pop off the stack while there's something in the stack. Okay, so n for node is gonna be pop something off. So, and then uh, n1 here is going to be the, uh, the depth. So we wanna make sure that uh, we're updating max depth if the depth is greater than and then the, then, the, then the last depth we checked. So max depth is equal to max of max depth and then one. And then if we check if there's a left node and a right node, and if so, we add them onto the stack. So let's do that. So if n zero dot left stack dot append, and then we append this tuple, right? So n zero dot left and then n one plus one because if we go down the tree, uh, every time we go down the tree, the, the depth increases, right? 
and we do the same thing for right for the right side if n zero dot right stack dot append a tuple and zero dot right and one plus one and that may be it I think this should work as a uh, as kind of a depth first search solution to this but of course recursion is a little nicer here but sometimes you want a solution that's not recursive so let's see if we passed okay we passed our test cases that does not mean that this is <laughs> necessarily correct but I think it's on the right track for a non-recursive solution so yeah not too difficult of a problem this one just requires you to interpret this as finding the the depths which I think is correct here so but let me know what you think in the comments thank you